In this tutorial, I'll introduce you to Cutout Studio, a dedicated studio environment that allows you to separate the subject of a photo from its background. To open Cutout Studio, select the image you want to cut out and, on the Picture Context toolbar, click Cutout Studio. Cutout Studio also includes its own help pane. This answers many common questions about cutting out your images. If your image contains quite a simple background, you'll be able to create your cutout easily by working with the Discard Brush tool. This is already selected by default. Next, you need to set the brush size. This will depend on the size of the picture and the area to be cut out. It's really useful to ensure that the Grow Tolerance box is selected when you are cutting out your picture. This tells Cutout Studio to extend the selection area under the brush into the surrounding pixels. Changing the Grow Tolerance value controls the precision with which areas of your picture are selected. This option is most useful when your image has large blocks of colour and the subject has well-defined edges. Now, just click and drag on the areas of the picture that are to be discarded. There are no rules about cutting out your pictures. You could remove all of the background, part of the background like I'm doing here, or even keep the background and discard the subject. To get a better idea of the areas that are to be kept and those that are to be discarded, you can click the Show Tinted button. Because we started with the discard brush, areas marked in red will be discarded. If you accidentally mark an area to be discarded, but you actually want to keep it, don't panic. Simply select the Keep Brush tool from the toolbar on the left, and then paint over the area you want to keep. You might find it easier to change to a smaller brush and zoom in to get a better view. If your picture doesn't have quite such well-defined edges, you might find it helpful to turn off the Grow Tolerance. This provides you with a more manual control over the areas that get selected. It's a good idea to preview your cutout before saving it. This will allow you to see what your finished picture will look like and check that the cutout has been successful. I think the cutout looks OK, but just to make sure that I haven't missed anything, I'll temporarily change the background colour. By choosing a bright green, I can see that the cutout isn't symmetrical and a small area of the picture still needs removing from this side. The Restore and Erase touch-up tools are great for making final adjustments to your cutout. I'll select the Erase tool and remove a little bit more of my picture. In this step, you can use any background colour that makes it easier for you to check your image. It doesn't matter, as it won't affect the final transparency. When you're happy with your cutout, click OK. Your finished picture will appear in the workspace, and you can resize and position it as required. Well, that's all for this tutorial. To find out more about PagePlus, See the Learn section of the Startup Assistant. Thanks for watching!